The Virgin Las Vegas Hotel Resort Casino opens up March 25th, and they have a new policy called No Nickel and Diming You, but then they have a terrible policy called No Food or Drink in the Rooms That's Outside Food or Drink. Yeah, we're going to talk about the policies of the resort over at the Virgin Las Vegas. We're going to talk about their resort fee policy, their parking, if it's free, if it's not, their Wi-Fi. We're going to analyze some of these things and then talk about why they're doing this when it comes to actually having you not allowed to bring anything as simple as a bottle of wine or a six-pack of beer into your rooms. How's it going, everybody? My name is Steven, and I am not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. I hope you guys would like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for the future notifications. If you guys want to support the channel at any time, during this video, leave us a comment below. Does this actually change your outlook on the Virgin Resort? Because they're not the only property that does this, which we'll also explain in this video. You guys can support us further by going to Patreon or YouTube channel memberships. We're right now for completely free, even if you're not a member uh, that's uh, signed up, you can actually see the type of video I'm going to be posting up uh, coming up. We have a lot of pre-pandemic footage. I'm going to be doing some narratives and commentaries there. That's free for you guys to check out. We'll also be doing member-only live streams uh, twice a month for both. Everybody's going to be in one stream from both sides. And you guys can see those on Wednesday, this Wednesday, if you're a member. Uh, it's going to be at 7 p.m. VegasFaceMask.com is also a great option. This is called Marvel. We don't sell this one. We do two for 25. You actually, you buy one at 25. You get this one for free. But we have 60 designs, all handmade by my wife sent out to you for free and we have the bead around the back and it doesn't go around your ears so they're fantastic masks you have to have a mask when you come to vegas so check out vegasfacemask.com all right so the virgin resort opens march 25th <clears throat> it rises like a phoenix from the desert but we're not in phoenix we're in las vegas from the remains of the hard rock hotel resort casino hard rock closed down about two years ago the virgin was supposed to open last year but there was a thing called covid and it never happened so now we have the resort opening March 25th after a, for a couple of different attempts to open. The first thing that's really positive is they have no resort fee at the property. People are asking me what I think about this. I think it's great for now. We'll see if they change forever or if they start imposing resort fees when things get more popular. So no resort fees. That's great. Free parking. Also a good thing. Free self-parking. Also free Wi-Fi. Well, that's good too, but there's a couple of questions that remain on the Wi-Fi. How fast is the Wi-Fi? Is it fast enough for you to actually support a stream on Netflix or YouTube? Will they allow live streaming from your room? People like to go out and live stream on Facebook Live, for example, to their friends and family. Will they be friendly to bloggers? We don't know any of these questions. Sometimes these hotel properties will cripple the Wi-Fi on purpose. A uh, good example is the Las Vegas Convention Center, which has free Wi-Fi, but you're not going to stream on that because they want to sell that to the people that are coming in for conventions. And the Virgin is a huge convention resort. And back when it was the Hard Rock, they had lots of different conventions there. The AVN Awards would be going on. I'm not going to tell you what the AVN Awards are, but don't look at that on the internet with kids. I'm telling you right now after this video, if you search for AVN uh, as an Apple Valley North, you will not want to have kids next to you to see what kind of convention that is. Uh, but yeah, if they're a big convention hotel, so they might be trying to sell the Wi-Fi too. The other thing is their new no nickel and diming policy. Yes, they have a no nickel and diming policy. They want to be open and outright to everybody. We want to not charge you fees, but you better not bring food or drink into the room. Yeah, that's the other thing about the second half of this equation. So uh, a YouTuber called Miles to Memories who has a channel, uh, you might want to check them out. If you guys like them, you can subscribe to them. Like you can subscribe to me if you like me. Yeah, so Miles to Memories has seen on their fact page, frequently asked questions page. Yeah, you're not allowed to bring outside food or drink strange, right? I mean, I know you've all been in this position, at least I have. You want to go out, you have a nice night out, you go out on the town, and then you're going to say, you know what, let's go relax in our room a little bit. So you go to the CVS pharmacy right across the street, in this case from the Virgin Resort, or you just go out for dinner across the street at someone like somewhere like the Shaquille O'Neal's Chicken Place or any of those nice restaurants right across the street, and you want to bring your leftovers to the room, or you want to bring a bottle of wine back, or you want to watch a game with your buddies and you want to buy a 24-pack of beer, yeah, that's going to be prohibited. You can not bring those into your rooms. The Win and the Encore also do this. You know, if you're bringing a cooler in when you're checking in at the at the desk, they're going to tell you to discard everything. And it's a way for them to make money and monetize. They say on their Frequently Asked Questions page that, yeah, you know what? We actually have lots of restaurants. We have 24-hour room service. You don't have to bring all that stuff. But the thing is about it, okay, look, if you're going to the Virgin Resort because they don't have resort fees, because they have free parking and they have free Wi-Fi, there's a good chance that you're the kind of person that 
Cigna likes to get a bit of a deal if that's the reason you're going. If that's not the reason you're going, it might just be a nice little perk and a benefit. So if you're going to have a no nickel and diming policy, it should be across the board. I'm not saying that all the properties should allow people to stop buying and even say, oh, well, don't buy anything from our restaurants. Of course, they want you to buy from the restaurants, but that's not for absolutely everybody. And so the no nickel and diming policy kind of falls apart right there. It reminds me a lot of uh, back in the 1980s and 90s when we used to go to movies. I'm from Canada originally. So you'd have the winter jackets and you would sneak things in in the winter jackets. We had bomber jackets back in the early 90s and you would have that elastic on the bottom and you could just put a bag of chips here, some Twizzlers there, maybe a soda there. I probably weighed about 25 extra pounds going into those theaters, I'll tell you what. But yeah, they, they wanted to make money on the concession stands at the theaters and, and the Virgin wants to make money on uh, people going into their property, no doubt about that. But uh, at the same time, you have to call ahead and you have to be aware of the policies at the property. That's just the way it's always going to be. If you're going to somewhere and you want to go to the Vons on the way to the check-in to the Virgin and you bought a cooler and you try to check in with it and it's full of stuff, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to feel a little bit dejected. You're not going to like it. So always call ahead. Get the hotel policies. That's my tip to you when you're actually planning a trip to Las Vegas because it's going to save you a lot of issues. It's going to make you have a better trip. Have you ever brought things up into your room while you're in Las Vegas? Tell me in the comments below. Have you ever brought leftovers so you could pick at it later? Have you ever gone to one of the numerous Walgreens or CVS pharmacies so you could avoid the expensive uh, alcohol markup at the actual hotel property? Tell me in the comments below about that because I'm interested to know what your travel habits are here in town and you can share your stories and your tips for how to save money in town. That would be a good thing to do too. So Virgin, what are you going to do about this? Are you going to enforce it? Are you going to be picking through people's bags? Highly unlikely because that would be a public relations boondoggle they would never get over. So I guess what it comes down to is I'm not telling you to sneak things into properties in Vegas. Always play by their rules. But at the same time, if I'm renting a room and I have that room and it's a private place for me and my family or my friends for a short period while I'm here, I don't like being told that I have to be forced into buying from the expensive amenities on site. And maybe that's just me. And if that's just me, you let me know in the comments below. But if you feel the same way, please tell us what you think about the Virgin's new nickel and no nickel and diming policy, which has a nickel and diming thing built right into it. And that's my video for today. I am Steven and I am not leaving Las Vegas. If you guys want to support the channel, YouTube channel memberships, Patreon, click in the uh, first uh, pinned comment of this video. You guys can go see the commentary, the types of videos I'll be posting on there. If you guys want to sign up, if you think it's worth it, you can do that. Uh, we also have YouTube channel memberships. So we also have VegasFaceMask.com, the only two that you'll ever need. This is the Marvel mask. You buy one at 25, you can get one just like this completely for free. We don't sell the licensed stuff. Ships anywhere for free across the United States. Help support the fam here in Las Vegas. The wife makes them by hand. All I do is drop them off to the post office to make sure they get in the USPS's hands. And we ship internationally too. All right, so now's the time of the video where I say three, two, one, click. And that's my video and I'm sticking to it. So three, two, one, and click.